what's going on? What's going on? We are at the last, and I mean the absolute last video for 2018. Goddamn. Did we make it here? Did we, uh, did we think that we could get through the, the drama that we've been going through that we would make it here? We at the last video of 2018. Y'all, come on now. Come on. Come on now. All right, now listen. So, this is Divine Masculine reading. All right, I got my call because I know I'm going to need this energy for this one. Come on, Jesus. Come on now. Listen, we about to find out what's going on with the Divine Masculine, what messages the Lord has for the Divine Masculine for December the 15th through the 31st in the name of Jesus. Come on today. Hold on. Let me take a sip now. Hold on. I said I need me some coffee today. Come on. So, a few house announcements, okay? If you would like a personal and private reading, click that About tab, Okay. You'll see a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Um, I normally accept payments through PayPal, okay? If you would like to give a page donation, a sister needs some new decks, and a sister needs to get an actual camcorder before I blow my iPhone up, okay? So if anyone would like to give a page donation to Scorpion Reds Tarot, go ahead and hit that on PayPal hyperlink in the description below. Um, in the description um also if you know if you just want to just send a love donation just to say a love offering and say thank you if this video resonated if it helped you at all if it made you laugh if it made you cry and if you just want to send a love offering to say thank you and thank you so much to everyone who has been sending love offerings um throughout these past couple of weeks um it is greatly appreciated y'all don't know how much the job just been able to help me be able to do the things that i need to do to make sure that i can make these videos happen for you guys um so i appreciate it um let's get into the you know the blessing let's get into you know the prayer let me turn this down real quick excuse me god so dear lord please um first off thank you so much for this day i appreciate all of the blessings and all of the lessons that you've given us thus far dear jesus we're here today to um, get some guidance for the Divine Masculine. Because um, as you know, Jesus, we all been going through this journey. And this is the last couple of weeks for 2018. So please give the Divine Masculine some guidance for December uh, the 15th through the 31st. Please give the Divine Masculine guidance to, re to reach full fulfillment, happiness, and prosperity. So that he can have everything that he wants in his life and find the true love and happiness and stability in 2019 in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Dear Lord, please give us guidance surrounding the divine masculine. Please give him messages to help him find true happiness, financial prosperity, and abundance and clarity in his life. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much. All right. Right, you guys. I know y'all been waiting for this. Y'all be waiting for this divine masculine, John. Let's find out what's going on with him, honey. Let's find out. Yeah, please let me know what we need to tell the divine masculine for December the 15th through the 31st. Please give a messages of clarity and truth, Jesus. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Please give the divine masculine some guidance. Please. Please give the divine masculine some guidance. Two of Pentacles, the magician, and a page of wands. All right, so. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Want to be single, huh? Want to be by yourself, huh, divine masculine? Trying to manifest being free of something, hmm. You ain't feeling taken care of. Oh, then, uh, the king of swords, Lord. Yeah, you about to cut somebody out of your life for real, Divine Masculine. Looks like you about to cut the karmic out. Is that what's going on, Divine Masculine? I'm nosy. Give me some more, Jesus. Come on. Give me some more messages. Oh. All right, that's twin flame for real, buddy. <laughs> that's twin flame for real. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, let's <laughs> wait till you see this. 
So it looks like the Divine Masculine is trying to um, cut out the karmic. Because he wants his... Uh, He's the king of swords in reverse, and you are the queen of swords in the upright, because you done cut him out. He want to go back to what cut him out? <laughs> Ain't that something? Ain't that a pickle? So he's constantly juggling, you know, the options right now. He currently got something that's right behind his back, constantly staring down his damn back, trying to figure out what the fuck you keep looking out this window for. What are, what are you, what are, who are you... What, are you, what else are you desiring? Okay? So right now the Divine Masculine is dealing with a situation where he's physically juggling, you know, what he should put his time into. And his ass been staring out the window. And so I'm definitely going to take this that he's probably been looking at you on the internet or maybe staring at old pictures or just old memories and things like that. But this person has been looking, gazing, and the person that they've been dealing with is down their back. What the fuck are you sitting up there, goddamn, keep juggling back and forth in your fucking head? What the fuck are you so confused about that you're trying to balance yourself and you keep looking out this fucking window? You know, you can't even see I'm lurking up behind you and shit. Like, what the fuck? All right. <laughs> so that lets you know what's going on in the household of divine masculine and the karmic. Right now, he's trying to manifest something because he done looked his ass out this motherfucking window. Okay? He done looked out this motherfucking window and seen, Goddamn, I came all the way over here thinking the grass was greener. Now I'm looking back out the window. I won't go back over there because I think the motherfucker is more fruitful over there. So now he trying to manifest. You hear me? Now he trying to manifest. Because at the end of the day, the divine masculine, oh, he's a masterful little fucker there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He know he got every element that he needs to... You know, manifest whatever it is that he wants in his life. He know that he has control. He know that he has a certain level of power. But with that control and that power is a certain level of responsibility. And I do think the divine masculine has finally woke the fuck up. And he realized what you put out in the universe, you get right the fuck back. That's why he went out there and he put some fuck some fuckery out in the universe looking out a goddamn window thinking that the grass was greener and he ended up on the other side looking back out the same window looking back at the grass that he just retreated from so what you get what you you get what you give okay and that's the lesson that the magician has to learn and has learned do you understand mhm mm i don't see the infinity sign on this one but the infinity sign is most definitely in the regular thing, in the, in the regular um, right awake deck. And also, this is the page of, um, of wands in reverse. So this is a hall of any type of movement, communication, or, you know, any type of passion being put in anything that he was investing his time in trying to develop and nurture. Okay, so he's not expressing any more passion and I don't feel like he is wanting to make any forward movement in the current situation that he is in where he's staring out over yonder looking at something else where trying to find balance on how he's going to get himself together and make a decision on something. Okay, and now he's trying to manifest change and he's realizing what I was very passionate about and, you know, I might have been trying to communicate my desire for before. I don't have a desire for it anymore. I completely do not have a desire for this any longer. Okay? And I want to be single. I want to be free from this situation. I don't want the burden of feeling like he got to take care of somebody. Do you understand? So the divine feminine is like... I'm tired of having to feel like I got to take care of your emotions because you constantly worrying about what the fuck I'm looking out this guy. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm looking out the goddamn window, bitch. I just, I don't, I don't feel the way I felt about you no more. Like for real, I came over here and I risked everything that I had thinking that shit was better. That I was going to get something better over here. The whole time I didn't get nothing and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, Snap, crack, and pop my way the fuck up out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to twist my fingers and do some hocus pocus to figure out how the fuck to get you the hell away from me. Because you, you irritating. 
Why is you down my fucking back like this, sir? Damn, bitch, I, I can't even look out the fucking window. Shit. <laughs> like, no bullshit. He trying, man, he trying to figure out how the fuck to get the hell away from this comment. He want to be rid of her. He's not expressing, he don't, he's not passionate about the situation anymore. He's not expressing no more. He's not communicating no more passion to this person. Okay? He wants to be free. He don't want to feel like he needs to take care of this person and nurture this person's feelings and their insecurities about what the fuck they looking at, what they looking at and what they thinking and what they constantly juggling and trying to balance in their mind. Don't he like don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing. Cuz I'm trying to get the fuck away from you anyway, bitch. Just know that. And he didn't, he before the end of 2018, this bitch going to get cut out. Cut out and cussed out. Because I feel like the divine masculine is resentful. He resents this person because he said, I risked my relationship and I gambled. You know, I was a fool. I took a gamble with you, you know, and I got cut out by my queen. I got cut out by my queen. Now, she done cut me off and she got other motherfuckers goddamn tending to her needs. And she's cold and distant to me. She don't even want to fuck with me no more. Because of you. And you all fucking insecure. Worrying about her. And she ain't even worried about me. Bitch you need to worry about you. And your fucking insecurities. Maybe the, the karmic is insecure. Because she knew. She was the other person in the first place. And she knows that in the divine masculine's brain, he's always thinking back. He's always looking back. And she knows that she'll never be the divine feminine. Because at the end of the day, they're a pair. Twin flame. The king of swords, the queen of swords. They just in different ways about each other right now. They're, they're away from each other right now. They're distant. They're resisting each other, Okay. Because it ain't meant for them to be around each other. Because they got lessons to learn. Okay? And right now the divine feminine is deciding. And she is learning her truth. Her abundance. Her worth. Her value. Unless, you know, you going to honor me, respect me, and give me a certain level of truth and clarity and make me feel secure and honored. I ain't got nothing to deal with you. I ain't got nothing in my life to deal. Nothing. I have nothing to deal to you. Okay? Not a damn thing. I'd rather be by my motherfucking self. And that's where the queen is at right now. Okay? So, you know, the king of swords, as you can see, what is this depicting on this card? You see, the queen was back here looking out this window. And what she see? What she see going on? Right? But when the queen came to him, did he give her truth? No, the king of swords in reverse, he's not a truthful person. You're not getting no truth and clarity out of him. You don't get mental manipulation. You don't get harsh words and verbal abuse. You know, being put down. You know, I feel like when the divine feminine came to this man to question him about the things that he was doing with this karmic, this insecure, this woman who's not an insecure bitch that he's irritated by. Mm -hmm. He cussed you out. He told you that you was insecure, right? The same karma he's dealing with right now. So what I told you from the beginning, the magician has to learn that you get what you put out. You get what you put out. All right, all right. So let's go. Let's keep moving. I think y'all got it. Let's keep moving. All right. And I, I and you know what? I'm going to tell y'all right now because y'all some petty ass bitches because I hear the divine feminines laughing in my head right now. I swear on my life. Why do I hear the divine feminine laughing? Like y'all are laughing right now at this spread and y'all petty as fucking shit i just want y'all to know that because i hear y'all fucking laughing and y'all petty as shit because <laughs> y'all is dying fucking laughing especially when i said that this shit that this bitch is insecure and all. oh oh y'all find that hella fucking funny and what you doing what you doing divine feminine sitting pretty and who trying and what he trying to <laughs> He trying to manifest this, his his ass to fuck away from this bitch. 
You like, that's what you get, fuck nigga. You reap what you sow. Is that what you're saying, Divine Feminine? I ain't got time to deal with y'all. I ain't got time to deal with y'all, y'all energy. This is about the Divine Masculine. Y'all being petty as shit. <laughs> Jesus, please give the Divine Masculine some guidance. <laughs> give the Divine Masculine some guidance and, and love. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just happy. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Come on, tell him. Tell it like it is, Jesus. Come on. The Bible, Mac. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm about to keep it real motherfucking gutter right here. And it ain't gonna be what you like or want to hear. It's gonna be what the fuck you need to hear, and I don't give a shit. Okay? Yeah, damn it. I feel like it's a lot of women watching this, but it's some men watching this, and they need to hear this. And I'm about to keep it 100 with you because I want you to be better. I want you to grow. I want you to get everything that you want in life, okay? Because, listen, right now, you really don't deserve any love right now because I'm going to tell you why you don't deserve anybody. You know, so... And I'm not saying anybody in a sense of just anybody in general. I'm talking about in regards to what it is that you're trying to manifest and, des and, and you desire at this moment. You don't deserve it. Because you still need to put work in to prove not only to yourself but to God that you are deserving of these things that you're trying to manipulate the, the universe to bring to you. Because I honestly feel like God is saying enough. Because I don't had enough of your trickery. I don't let you get away and I don't let you manipulate and I let you do and get away with everything that you've been. I've been letting you get away with it. But at this point in time, it's about lessons for you, divine masculine, because you need to understand that you get in life what you put out. So right now, because of what you were putting out in the universe, you what it is that you really want. You're not deserving of it. OK. So that's why things have not been going the way that you want it to go in love and in your life in general, Divine Masculine. Because you have to change your energy and take more responsibility of what you put out in the universe. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So I don't want y'all to get mad at me. I'm keeping it one fucking hundred. Because that's the only way y'all going to learn. I'm not about to sit around here and pussyfoot around shit with y'all like all these other readers do or whoever the fuck y'all be watching, talking to. I'm keeping this shit 100. I'm talking to y'all like I'm y'all fucking sister because I am and I love y'all. You are what the fuck you eat, okay? If you put out shit, you ain't doing nothing but producing shit. You understand what I'm saying? You want to eat shit? Don't nobody want to eat shit. So stop putting shit out into the universe and then get mad when you got to ingest what you are putting out into the universe. You get me? Oh, okay. All right? You need to retreat from the current situation that you're in. You have been knew you should have retreated. You should have never went in this situation to begin with. But guess what? The queen cut you out. You ain't had no choice but to deal with the situation. Because you came to her with bullshit and she cut you out. Why? Because you were not a truthful person. You were not honorable. You were not respecting the relationship. Okay? And even when she came to you and she asked you to be truthful and to be honest so y'all could try to work things out, you still lied. You still deceived. You still tricked. You still manipulated. Right? Right. Okay. So at the end of the day, your whole relationship with this Carmen girl was built on what? It was built on fucking deception. How did you think that that was going to thrive? It was built on deceptions and lies and trickery and deceit because what you was doing. Okay? So at the end of the day, this is not the magician in reverse right now, but you were using your powers and your hypnotism for the wrong fucking reasons at one point in time. Now you're finally getting to the point where you see the results of the madness that you created. And now you want to back up. Now, 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 now you want, hold on, what uh, James Carl, what's that? Now you want um, backpedal and pussy pop, okay? In the words of James Caldwell, y'all follow my boo, okay? Y'all follow my boo, James Caldwell. You want backpedal and pussy pop. You pop on pussy like a fofo. Pew, pew. Nigga, pew, pew, okay? 
Nigga, you pop a pussy like a goddamn fofo. Because you trying to retreat out the dough. Because you don't want no more. Because you know all this shit was built off a of goddamn deception. You know it was. All right? You trying to finally get in a situation with someone that you can trust. But who going to trust you? Do you trust yourself? And that's the thing. Divine Feminine, I want you to understand that the reason why the Divine Masculine never came back to you is not because he don't love you. It's because he don't trust himself. He don't trust himself not to make the same mistake again with somebody else. That he wouldn't get bored again and go out and disrespect you again. So that's why he didn't come back. He'd rather do this shit to other people versus to continue to do that to you. So even though don't be honored by it, please don't. Please don't be honored by it. But it's something about you that you weren't going to allow him to do it no more. And instead of him coming back to you with the same fucking energy, he'd just rather go and fuck other people's life up instead of fucking your life up. Because you know that you would never trust him. And he don't trust himself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now the divine masculine, he wants a situation that he can honestly trust himself. He wants a situation that he trusts and he trusts himself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because he knows right now it's not safe for him to love you. It's not safe for him, period, to do anything in love because he's in the point of right now of rebuilding. He's trying to regain the trust in himself. And he don't feel like it's safe for him to go out there and be mixing and mingling with nobody. He realized that he needs to retreat and deal with his shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get me? Divine Masculine, come on now. Come on, Divine Masculine. You better get to a point of understanding, baby. I get you. It's time for us forgiving and learning. It, about his self. About what he's been putting out. The Divine Masculine realized, man, this whole bullshit that I put out, the reason why I'm miserable right now is because I, I, I bought this on myself. I bought this on my fucking self. I got to understand my powers and, you know, the, the, the rules of universal law. It's like, yeah, I got these powers and I've been willing to run. I've been playing with this shit, but I've been playing with this shit. Not realizing what I'm cooking up for myself. Oh, he done cooked his own ass. You done cooked your own ass, huh? You done whipped your ass up like a stir fry. In the, in the, in the, in the stir fry. Yeah. 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 You done whipped your whole ass up. And now you just like, man, I don't even trust my own self because I keep doing dumb ass shit. And I be sitting there. I don't even trust myself. Do y'all feel me? The divine masculine is trying to self evaluate and work on himself. But first, he got to get himself out of this situation and create a part yeah he don't want he don't he don't want to work he don't i'm trying to say y'all what do you desire he don't want to work on that situation with that girl no more because he desires something else he just wants some fresh air and he daydreaming <laughs> he trying to forgive himself i'm trying to tell y'all listen to me y'all understand what i'm saying what's this say at the bottom of the deck ocean <laughs> listen y'all he does not want to work in this situation with this girl anymore. Okay? He has no more. It's no more creativity. It's no more fun. It's no more passion. It's no more whatever the fuck it was. That it was when it was hot. It done fizzled out and it done faded. And it's still and it's born. And it's dry pussy. Dry pussy. Weekend pussy. Oh try to keep a nigga hoe. Oh try to keep a nigga baby. That bitch dry pussy. Weekend pussy. Weak ass pussy. So let me stop. <laughs> he, 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 don't, he don't want to invest no more time in that project. He said, that's a project asshole. Weak and pussy asshole. He said, I don't want that hoe. I don't want that hoe. <laughs> Ooh, did I sound like someone from New Orleans? I don't want that hoe. Ah! Yes, I've been watching Super Scent, y'all. Come on, True Super. Look, he like... <laughs> 
I got to really focus on and figure out what it is that I truly want and what I really desire. And I need to focus my energy and manifest that and only that. But the only thing I really want and I truly desire is some fucking fresh air. Because I, he don't want to be around this goddamn girl. This girl, she done got herself in this situation thinking it was cute being a fucking side bitch. And thinking it was cute that she done took an, uh, 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 somebody man. But the whole time, because of the way she got him, it kept her so insecure throughout the whole goddamn time that she was with him. Even though she had him, she couldn't even enjoy it. Because she felt so insecure, not only about... The divine feminine, but other women, like every other fucking woman that came around, this bitch felt so fucking insecure because in her brain, she's just like, oh, you ain't about to do me like you did that bitch. You ain't about to do me like you did that bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this nigga just want to be free of that shit. He's just like, man, I don't even know how the fuck I got. Late at night with all the world is sleeping i stay up and think of you ass nigga i stay up and think about you face ass nigga and i wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too head ass nigga fuck you mean i've been dreaming fuck ass nigga get your ass out of here let me change <laughs> What in the world? I'm reloaded. Listen to me. Listen to me, Linda. Linda, you listen to me? This nigga been goddamn daydreaming about you, bitch. Linda. Listen, Linda. Linda. He been dreaming. He been dreaming, singing Selena songs, eating goddamn... <laughs> This nigga been sitting at home on YouTube pulling up fucking Selena, eating popcorn with hot sauce on it, like motherfucking J <laughs> like motherfucking Janet Jackson on Poetic Justice. I'm, I'm, he trying to forgive himself. He trying to give himself a break in your heart. Y'all just look, cause I can't, cause like right now I'm, I'm, I, 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 I can't. Girl, God. I've been dreaming. Oh fuck. Can't even believe this nigga right here. Can't even believe this nigga right here. Look at this nigga here. Golly. Your fucking feelings all burnt up and twisted up, ain't it? Golly. You ain't even wanna fuck. Why you don't wanna fuck with the bitch no more, Divine Masculine? I thought that's what you wanted. I thought that's what you wanted. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let me stop being petty. See, this not even me. This not my energy. This Divine Feminine and y'all petty as shit. Cause this not even me. Cause I don't even give a fuck. This y'all being petty as shit, young. And I look, y'all stop, young. Y'all get off of me, divine feminine. Y'all stop cause y'all being petty, young. Y'all extra dumb ass petty. You like, yeah, Raz, go ahead, cuss them on that DC shit. Yeah, y'all just had me get just whole go on fry this whole nigga up right now, young. Y'all petty as shit. Like, go ahead on that nigga. Like, how y'all going, DC? Go ahead, cuss that nigga out, Red. I like how you be cussing that nigga out in the videos. Oh, head ass nigga. Oh, daydreaming face ass nigga. Oh, extra motherfucking crunching your emotions ass nigga. Oh, oh, love potion ass nigga. You looking for a goddamn witch charm and trying to get your bitch back. Trying to motherfucking goddamn manifest all oh, no fuck nigga because I don't rebuke you and I don't block you in the face of, in the name of Jesus. No, you ain't coming over here with your hocus pocus bullshit nigga. You keep on dreaming nigga. Please. Go, go get you some fresh air and wave your hands in the air like you don't care. Please get you a release, Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine says you don't be coming back around here with that fuck shit. Trying to look for, asking for an opportunity to forgive. You better forgive yourself, nigga. Okay? So, the Divine Masculine said it is time to close the chapter of this karmic situation. He don't have no value. There's no value. There's no reason for him to continue to invest his time in a juggling situation with this girl because this bitch is insecure and he's tired of arguing and feeling like he's having to compete in battle 
verbally with this woman. It's like a verbal altercation at all the time. And y'all, it's like a verbal just slashing competition or something. Like y'all just saying anything that y'all can say to hurt each other and shit like that. And this woman always feeling like there's all this competition around and it is because because the divine masculine does have options you know what i'm saying and i i definitely feel like there has been a battle in in regards to the divine um it's a battle between the karmic and her feeling insecure about the divine feminine but she quickly realized that she wasn't the only one because there were several other people too in the mix outside of the divine feminine so she was too busy worrying about the energy of the divine feminine the whole time he was getting bored and irritated and annoyed with her he done collected a few other scragglers the same way that she came about so you got them the way you lost them oh okay or you lose them the way you get them oh okay yeah and he, and he he's dropping this conflict with you anyway karmic he don't want to deal with you anyway he don't he said the situation with you he, it don't hold no value in his life and that chapter of his life is, is close. He done learned the lesson from fucking with bitches like you. And juggling with bitches like you. That don't hold no value. You understand? There's more of you. There's plenty of bitches like you. Ain't that what he went? Ain't that what he did? Went and collected a couple more bitches just like you? And got you out there fussing and fighting with them hoes? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Because that's what the Divine Masculine said. I'm trying to find balance. Like I said, the Divine Masculine, he's trying to work on himself. And he's trying to... He wants... To work on his faith. Okay. He really is trying to. Learn from his mistakes. I think this time he really. Did see. But I won't be able to. Tell for real if he really really got it. Until we do the reading in the new year. Because we'll see how much he's progressed. From December the 15th. With this trying to find his. Spiritual balance. And his harmony. Because at the end of the day. Like I said. That chapter of misfunction, uh, uh, of dysfunction, bad luck, and just, you know, things just not going his way, particularly because of the things that he was putting out in the universe, he's realizing how important it is to maintain a certain level of balance on that karmic scale, or that wheel will turn, and it'll turn, and it'll turn, and it'll turn. And it'll land just right where the fuck it deserves. And if what you're putting out is bullshit, it's going to give you misfortune and bad luck and bullshit right back to you. Okay? So, the Divine Masculine is ready to close this chapter. But he is trying to find spiritual balance. And he wants this wheel of fortune to finally turn in his favor. Okay? Because he's tired of just this bad karma that he's been creating for himself. Please clarify the love spread. Thank you so much. Oh, I've already seen that devil card. Let's see if he pop out. Hopefully not. Hopefully he ain't got past his toxic behaviors. See, what he, he thought, he thought him God and himself was going to get him to this place of prosperity. He thought, Divine Masculine thought that he could continue going on in life not having a foundation, not having any type of spiritual grounding, you know? And there go that man, there go that magician again. I'd rather fight and lose sleep at night. All right, so the divine masculine, he thought that the way through life is that he didn't need no type of structure. He didn't need a foundation. He don't need no rules. You know what I'm saying? So he felt like him, you know, making his own rules and abiding by his own rules. He don't give a fuck about karmic law. You understand? He thought that he could continue on living a life his way in his unorthodox way. Okay. And that he can continue to sit on this throne and be prosperous forever. And that he make his own rules. Everything will be balanced out and it'll work out just for him. Just the way he see fit. But one thing that he quickly understood is, uh, skirt! Skirt! 
Uh-uh. Because at the end of the day, you know, it takes a lot of strength to deal with the karmic, the karmic lessons in the karmic energy that you've manifested. Do you see this? That's why I said that. You see that symbol above his head? That affinity sign? What you put out, it come right back to you. Okay? Once you put out, it come right back to you. So you can sit up here and be cooking up and be trying to be a little trickster and manifest and will your way and use your powers. You could Whatever you put out, you put back. And one thing I don't think the Divine Masculine realized was the strength that it was going to take to deal with the karma of what he manifested and what came back to him. Okay? You are powerful. You do have a lot of gifts. And you got a lot, you know, you got a lot to, to give. You can even teach someone how to, how, to, how to use these powers like this and manifest and manipulate the, the wheel of the, you know, the elements of the earth. To get what you desire. But at the same time, make sure that you have enough strength to deal with what you put out. Because at the end of the day, this person here, do you understand? Ended up being, because of the things that the world wielded back to him, he felt like he was at attacked. You know? Like he's at some type of, like just spiritual warfare or something. You understand what I'm saying? Like why is all of this bad looking, this karma coming into me? And everybody, fuck all y'all. What the, the I, uh, uh. You understand what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker has lost his goddamn fucking mind. And he don't even have any mental clarity as to what's going on, why it's going on. And, and all of that stuff. So, you know, and he's lashing out at everybody in the world, but taking responsibility for himself and his actions. He don't want to see any truth in what his actions is and his fault is. He just want to come at motherfuckers. But, uh, uh, what? No, nigga, I punch you in your fucking mouth. Like, don't play with me. Don't ever run up on me with no fuck shit like that. Ever. You better study and you better figure out who the fuck you fucking with. Okay? Because at the end of the day, now the Divine Masculine is at a place where he's like, you know, everybody's against me. You know, everybody's against me. Don't nobody understand me. Don't nobody believe anything that I, I, I got to say, you know. So at the end of the day, I'm just about to sit back and I'm about to start. I'm about to scratch everybody out. I'm about to cut everybody the fuck out. I'm about to take myself all the way back to the beginning. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm about to just research and I'm about to study and work on some shit to make me better. You know? Because at the end of the day, I understand what the fuck I put out. I do. I ain't know. I didn't know by me motherfucking doing the shit that I was doing that it was going to take this much energy out of me. And now I'm trying to manifest a better way. I'm trying to manifest a better way. Now that I understand the responsibilities, because up here, this, this magician didn't understand his responsibilities. This magician was just cooking and brewing up shit. You see him? Do he look like he was doing things in a nice way? Look at this one. He has balance. He has on top of his head. That karma is alive and real at all times. You can't be walking around just fixing and, 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 and manipulating things in the world and just think the shit ain't going to come back to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now this person feels attacked karmically and feels like he's on guard. So he said, you know what? I'm going to retreat. I'm going to take myself back. I'm going to learn from the, from, from, from the bottom up. From the bottom up. I'm going to study. I'm going to focus on myself. And then also this person might be, like I said, uh, focusing in, you know, I don't want to say stalking, but, you know, like researching what's going on with the divine feminine. But I honestly don't honestly. I mean, no, I, I'm not saying that he's not doing that because I was guided to say that. But at the same time, I really do think that the whole, he's looking at what you're doing and it's a motivation for him to get his self together. Because he's looking at how you cut him out okay he's looking at how you cut him out and you focusing on yourself and you're waiting for your crops and you know everything that you worked hard for to come to you and he's seeing how blessed the divine feminine has been ever since she put that time and that effort to sit here and 
like really put that attention in detail and work and wait and have patience and faith. But most importantly, work on herself and what it was that she wanted to grow. You know, she wanted her life to grow ever since she left the Divine Masculine. She wanted her life to grow when she was willing to wait and be determined and willing to work hard for her blessings. And she's got a lot of blessings that she's received already, but she's still waiting because she know the big one has yet to come. And in Divine Masculine, he's admiring her clarity. And he's admiring the Divine Feminine. And he's like, you know what? I need to finally sit up on my throne in the upright. Because like I told you, what with the Divine Masculine was doing up at the top spread. He was the queen. I mean, he was the king of, of swords, but he's the king of swords in reverse. He wasn't mentally clear. He wasn't honest with himself. He wasn't true to himself. He wasn't being an honest and committed man. No. He was running around like a fucking bachelor. But now, in this place where he's at right now, uh-uh. He's clear. He's clear as to why the divine feminine left him. He feels like she deserved to leave him. That he deserved everything that he got. You know? He knows that he deserves it. Okay? Because at the end of the day, he wasn't willing to wait and put the attention in to work on that relationship with the divine feminine. How she was willing to sit over that and nurture that and take care of that and make sure that she weeded. I mean, weeded. Is it weeded? Yeah, you taking the weeds and shit away from the goddamn... Whatever, nigga. I ain't no goddamn flower person. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I might just kirk out on my own, so... Okay, let me wrap this up, good bitch. I'm about to get... I'm getting loony than the damn girl. Come on now. Come on. Buy masculine. Get a buy masculine some guidance for the future. And then we out. Whoa, what you what you doing? Okay. Mm. Stop this third party shit. That's it. You know, give me something else for him. Because I'm just going to leave that where it's at. That right there. Stop this third party shit. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, that's all God wanted you to know, Divine Masculine. Come on. I'm asking the Lord to what, let this man know what he need to know from the future. What the Lord tell him? D two threes. Can't, the nigga. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gone. Listen. God, he done, they, they, they done pissed me the fuck off. I'm sorry. No, but he needed to hear that. But, you know, just... To, uh, 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 wait a minute. See, y'all gonna make me put some yak in this. Y'all gonna make me put the yak with the cola back in this cup instead of my coffee. Come on. Fuck nigga. Get off me. Okay, I'm rhyming. <laughs> Bitch. Anyway, listen. If y'all want a personal private reading, y'all go ahead and hit that hyperlink in the about tab. It says Scorpion Reds Tarot and simply book me. Y'all go ahead and book me. Y'all go ahead and book me, okay? Y'all, y'all, y'all go ahead and get you some time in. Get you some time in with me, boo. I'ma I'm a make sure you get what you need, okay? And if you want to give a donation to the page to help, you know. I got, I'm trying to get the illest, the illest deck, you know. I'm, I got, I got some special little decks and stuff. I'm trying to get the deck with Beyonce on it and stuff, y'all. I'm trying to have y'all looking at Eric about doing Beyonce. I got some things I'm trying to do for my page, for my booth, for my page. So if y'all want to send some love donations and stuff, y'all go ahead, hit that PayPal, and I will email you. And talk to you and just send my love right on to you because I appreciate everything that y'all do. I appreciate y'all watching me and blessings into the new year. Divine Masculine, I hope that this message reached you. I hope that it teached you. I hope that it fed you everything that you needed to hear and everything that you needed, you know, so that you can bring blessings and encouragement and enlightenment and, you know, have true focus in the new year. I love y'all. I see y'all in 2019. Peace.